Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. And by Afterbirth, I mean Anti-Birth. Um, honestly, I am really tempted to just play as Jacob and Esau again in order to erase the embarrassing defeat. E2KJZX91. Um, but I am not going to do so. What I'm going to do is look at Isaac. Okay, so I, if I do the alternate path as Isaac, that's the only thing available to us. So I'm going to honestly try to do a run that allows me to gain some confidence. And it's not that I'm unconfident, it's just that I think it would be beneficial to gain some extra confidence. You know, especially after... <gasps> I used it twice by accident. Especially after what I think was a, a relatively uh, not necessarily amazing run. To be honest with you, despite the double tap on the... Uh... We should use a bomb here. Because we really just want a key more than anything else. So we can get to the uh, alternate floors. But sure, two bombs is also a, a good return on our investment. Um... Despite the double tap, this run actually looks really, really good right now. Tons of spirit hearts. Not renewable HP, but tons of spirit hearts. One guppy item. You know, DPS bonus from Sin Robes. And uh, the mulligan is just a, you know, at least an 8 out of 10 item from our item room. Maybe even uh, aspiring to be greater than that. So, I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it looks so far. All we need to do, I was going to say, is make sure that we can get one key. And having gotten that one key, life looks pretty good right now. So, my goal on this run is is not even just to get the post-it note taken care of as Isaac, but just to, like, not play so badly, if I'm being honest. <laughs> We've, uh, unfortunately, not necessarily had the best track record as of late, and, uh... I'm trying. I mean that sincerely. Keep in mind, we're playing as some characters who are novel. We're going down to floors with enemies that I've never seen before. Uh, we're seeing items I've never seen before. Synergies between those items I've never seen before. And it's just, um, you know, it's a confluence of of difficulty that, that's causing some problems. Which is why I'm neutralizing it here a little bit. Let's try to get our sea legs underneath us. Definitely we'll take Pentagram and uh, we'll head down to the next floor feeling like really good. Like the game has gifted us some easy mode action here by giving us some seriously high quality items alright on the downpour I'm gonna very much simplify my goals if we could just not lose a ridiculous amount of HP fighting new enemies I am still so, sort of unfamiliar with that would be for the best I think apart from that DPS is actually really good but what we could use is a, a tears upgrade We've already used one key. We might as well. Sunk cost fallacy, but sure. You know what? We've re we've rerolled. <laughs> Was that a real sentence? We've rerolled so many runs so far. I might just hold off on it. I think we've seen like three six rooms and two one rooms, and then almost every other double key dice room has been like, well, it, it hasn't existed. You know, I think we've had like one five room on a stream or something like that. So you know what? Too much of a good thing is still too much. I think at least. Uh, we may take advantage of that room, but I, I did notice as well uh, when I was playing on the stream Hello There we go when I was playing on the uh, on the stream. I had two guppy items No, I had three guppy items that became guppy Rerolled my whole run and lost guppy and then I picked up another guppy item and became guppy again So I'm not fully sure how rerolls um, in in anti-birth or I guess in rebirth in general uh, actually work Relative to how they work in uh, in Afterbirth. Because in Afterbirth, once you have a transformation, it sticks around forever. Whether that's good or bad uh, is a bit of a personal question, I suppose. Get the item tracker up. So we got a 100% deal with the Devil Chance here. That's no problem. We will not uh, cost ourselves anything there. We do need two bombs with which to go to the, uh, the mines, but we don't need that just yet. And we've got a reroll available here that can help us get some extra value. I think we should take this because we need two hearts to handle two hard deals. And there is a two hard deal on here. Um, but I actually think that in the with the rebirth style, we don't want any of these. I think we reroll and go for something more aggressive. And in this case, I'm going to take Abaddon. F I'm going to take Abaddon first, and then I'm going to take Guppy's Hairball, and then I'm going to take Contract from below. Now, that might be the incorrect order. 100% that's the incorrect order in Afterbirth. In Afterbirth, you would want to take Abaddon when you had one red heart, because then you would get... The deal would basically be half price, and you'd still get all the spirit hearts. But what I was thinking is that the way that uh, it works in Rebirth, if you take a deal you can't afford, you can take it, but it'll cost you all of your HP and, and leave you with... Um, 
zero HP, but you might still be alive. So as long as you can get another, you know, a bit of HP in the future, you'll be fine. But if you can't, you're going to be screwed. So, again, I'm not totally sure that we did that in the right order, but that wasn't an absent-minded play. It was a very thoughtful play that might have the wrong motivations behind it. Either way, uh, we're almost guppy. Abaddon's great. Contract from below is also very good in most situations, at least. Two extra keys. Chariot card. We're just looking for our item room now, and um, honestly, we're we're very well set up. Like we've pretty much knocked every item out of the park so far. I hate these flies, dude. These are the worst. There's got to be a better technique to fight them than the one I'm doing. I guess like just firing in the same direction is probably advisable. I hate their long range shots. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that one was gonna hit me. Like, just shoot in the same direction against those flies. Wait till they rotate in front of your shots, I guess. Or you can try to time it if, you, if you're if you confident. Neither of these... I mean, Mystery Sex pretty good, but I think we'll reroll and try for something better. And we'll take Nod Leaf, even though it's not... Uh, with, our, with our present combination of items, it's not necessarily very good. Um, it could be in the future, and, you know, it's easy to forget. We pretty much had a win as Isaac uh, on the alternate path, but... I let it slip through my fingers by being impatient when it comes to... Nod leaf, so let's try not to make that happen uh, on this run as well. I don't think we care about our shop right now. I think we uh, would like to have more money to make that happen. And the key piece is on the next floor. Yeah, okay. Good to check, though. Good to check. Alright, downpour two. Though, as far as I can tell right now, the only thing that's really concerning to me is uh, a lack of renewable HP. And even that's not that... Troubling? Wow, I should have been hit there, I think. That was a very poor dodge on my part. Uh, even that's not that troubling, because we have so much uh, support in the form of Spirit Hearts right now, or Demon Hearts specifically, but... Sure, battery charge could be good. That's a bummer. Um, this might be a library. It's not a library. I'm going to reroll regardless. Seven cent converter. It's actually very tempting. We've got a, you know, basically a coin flip. It's not literally a coin flip. Rest assured, I understand the probabilities of coin flip. Um, but it's close. You know, 41% on only one roll. You know, it, it could happen. And we'd rather have red hearts than spirit hearts to take that deal. Because remember, um, we, we pay a premium... When it comes to using uh, spirit hearts to take a deal with the devil, we pay three spirit hearts for the equivalent of one or two, I guess, red hearts. So, I mean, sometimes it's a deal, sometimes it's a discount. Mr. Mega is like, I think it's almost takeable there, but um, what I'm thinking is like, it only costs us two spirit hearts to get a uh, to get a red heart out of it. So we basically get one spirit heart kind of stored in reserve. Which can be valuable if we're going to be taking deals very aggressively. And given the fact that we have the, the pentagram, that might be advisable. But right now, it, it's probably close to irrelevant. That's a super bummer. Um, what I am going to do... I Let's fight the boss. I think we should fight the boss. And it's just the haunt. That's, that's nothing too extreme here. Um... I, I am probably not going to use the converter. I think the more I think about it, the more I'm like, that play is strong from an arithmetic standpoint. Not necessarily strong from a function standpoint. We didn't get a deal with the devil, so we're going to reroll this. Became HP, which I think is fine. Um, we'll open up the door to the mines, but we're not going to go down quite yet. Because I do think there's, there's more for us to gain on this floor if we play our cards right. Um, the HP is good. We could buy a battery charge, reroll Mr. Mega. We could take Mr. Mega and just get five bombs. Um, there might be an arcade available for us. There's a curse room, and we're so close to becoming Guppy. We have to. The cost is is relatively minor here. Okay, well, we, we earned on that as opposed to spending, which is a positive for us. I like if you hit those enemies before they finish animating, you actually get the, uh, the value... 
out of it. Like they don't they don't move. You can actually kill them before they act. I should not have used the key for that. That's that's a poor play. Um, wait, there's no battery charge for sale either. Did it reroll? Is that a that might be an after or a rebirth thing? I think I'm just gonna leave. Sure. They, I mean, if we're strictly gunning for a win and we don't care about whether or not we're you know leaving a good environment for our next. Anti-birth run, probably getting there's options is for the best, but if we're going to alternate floors anyway, it really doesn't matter if we take there's options, because we're getting two items per floor anyway, so... Or the the choice between two items two per floor, so... We did waste a key there, in uh, a little short-sighted fashion, but... Life goes on. Head down to the mines, we got the key piece, we're good to go. Now, I've not gotten any tinted rocks over this run, which indicates to me that I probably just have missed tinted rocks, so... Um, pay closer attention to that in the future. And there's one right there. Got to the secret room accidentally, which is lovely. And, okay, watch out. Such a bad habit to try to catch the heart. I'm gonna try it. Uh, very, very slightly worth it. Although, probably not to the extent that it's worth taking the risk, but hey, it worked. So we're still very much... I mean, we got a 78% deal with the devil chance here. So I, I would bet... The safe money is on getting a deal with the devil on this floor. These fucking fires extinguish... What is that? Watch the world burn. I don't know. Maybe when enemies die, they leave a fire. Maybe when we get hit, we leave a fire. Which would be uh, pretty advantageous right now as someone who is taking, like, way more damage than they actually should. Let's put a cork in that. Um... We're gonna have a reroll ready for the the boss fight here, so we should take advantage of that. The item room is gonna be our biggest priority. Um, out of the oh come on, out of the uh, remaining rooms. Don't rush me, okay? I got things on the go right now. These enemies are deceptively heinous. I hate enemies who leave shots in the air because it just fucks up, you know, your muscle memory for like, okay, enemies are dead, let's dodge. Great Gideon is an annoying boss fight. But I guess, all things considered, I would probably rather fight Great Gideon than fight uh, that boss. And we might have to do both, but that boss on the mines who is in the minecart and throws uh, bombs at you all the time, that dude is a straight up asshole. That dude can seriously just get fucked. Hornell? Ormel? Hungry Man Dinners? I can't remember. Getting out of that, like, nightmare without getting hit is mind boggling. Oh god, the fact that we got out of that without getting hit is also ridiculous. It's just extinguishing fires whenever possible to try to avoid making enemies too strong. We did get hit there, but honestly, the loss of the uh, the loss of that black heart killed these enemies real quick. Come on, we're closing in on this. I I couldn't I didn't have the the torque to get out of that situation in time. We do have Mr. Mega Bombs, so, you know, throw some of those in here. Can make short work of a lot of enemies. I hate this. This is the worst wave by far. But if we can hit them with a fly, that's probably enough to get the one hit KO. Are you what? We're it's probably just me n not being perceptive. But there was like, that felt like some phantom ass damage came in there. Okay, we've made it. Mom's heals, we do not care about in the least. Um, we do care about the guppy chance. Where the hell is this deal with the devil? There it is. Guppy. Free guppy. No free guppy. Uh, but a spirit heart is not the end of the world. I found pills full health. Full health's worth holding. Jesus juice is worth taking. Plus 0.45 damage. So Jesus juice is like... You can compare it with an item like meat, which is 0.3 damage up. But certainly, one extra HP is usually... Oh, some enemies are just spontaneously on fire. I see this trinket's effect. Um, one HP upgrade via meat is probably more valuable than the like 0.75 or 0.25 uh, increase in range. Can't remember which it was, but... Either way, it's, it's fairly inconsequential, so... Yeah, that, that kind of cements my my feeling that Jesus Juice, while not necessarily bad, 
is also not necessarily good. You know, not all damage upgrades are created equal. But 0 0.45 is not necessarily horrible. But if you give me the choice between that and meat, I'd probably rather have meat, I suppose. The good news is we do have access to the, um... To the, uh shop on this floor via three keys. We do always need to keep three spirit hearts active. Or two spirit hearts active so we can go to the uh, new floor. Maybe we won't be able to go to the... No, we still will be able to go to the shop. Okay. I'm gonna pop Hanged Man just to get like some value out of it because I'm probably not gonna go back in time to get it. I guess I should be a little happier that we got Jesus Juice on the reroll. First off, it saves the reroll for the uh, item room where the shop should we require it. But also... We got a, a DPS downgrade as a result of the uh, Tears downgrade that we picked up in pill form on the last floor. So, um, being able to get any form of DPS up is, is a positive. Should not be standing there for sure, but we got through. Item room doesn't have to be over here, but I would like it to be. If that's any, you know, if, if that factors into the game at all here, please let me know. Uh, stay away from me, please. Don't speak to me or my synergies ever again. These are the kind of rooms where you're like, what can you do, you know? The fact that we've been not been hit is basically just extremely lucky. So I think Sack Dagger is just worth taking. It also, like, it synergizes so nicely. Nah, we're fine with the lighter for now. Synergizes so nicely with Nod Leaf. Um... That I don't want to reroll. Sure, Unicorn Stump is great, but it's weird. Like, Unicorn Stump would be much better if we had Sack Dagger to go along with it. So, um, I think it's it's almost a no-brainer. Like, Sack Dagger is the right choice here. Stack up as many consumables as possible. You know, we want to get value. Really? Like, what, what am I doing here? Smart. You know what? That's a trap. That's a trap. Let's get out of there. Sure, maybe there's something amazing over there. That's what the seed's there for. You guys can go look for it. Let me know what's in there. I'd love to know. We actually did pretty well on this floor. And, you know, Contract from Below is proven to be one of those items. You kind of sometimes neglect it on deals with the devil. You know, it's not DPS, so it doesn't factor into my United States of whatever. But it factors in for me. And uh, it's, it's quite great, actually. I think you take the map... And you reroll the other item. And yeah, okay. I will be irresponsible blow up our donation machine here. Uh, the idea behind that being that BFF plus some of the items we have is too good to, to let go. And we're only on the mines one, so we don't have uh, we don't have to worry about missing the knife piece right now. We just head down to the next floor. Feeling pretty good. If we can get a way to freeze enemies, hold them in place. Uh, Sack Dagger is just going to destroy. Again, so close to Guppy, you, you have to go through with this. That was very bad damage. Honestly, making enemies afraid is actually, like, pretty close to freezing them in place. It's going to allow us to be a little bit more aggressive here, I think. And our, our DPS is not so amazing that I 100% always am going to want to do damage at range. I think we benefit, actually, from, from getting tiers in there whenever possible. Uh, it's a little tricky against enemies like these. They basically have shielded tiers, but some clever maneuvering to make that happen. Good. So far, so good. Thank God we're getting double pills because they've really worked out well so far. I think, yeah, you know, strike while the iron's hot. You gotta ice these dudes when you got a chance. Very common to find a tinted rock here. And we're really waiting out small rock at this point. Small rock would be, uh... A huge improvement. We're also, like, desperately in search of a tears upgrade. Pretty close to being a, a mission-critical improvement for our run, I think. Two rotten hearts, huh? I think both of these items are okay, but we should benefit from, uh... Well, you know what? Let's see if we fight greed. Both of these items are okay, but we'll benefit from re-rolling them. It's not greed. There is a battery charge. Also, blank card again. The speed downgrade is a real bummer, too. I think I'm starting to feel a lot better. Like, I was a little demoralized after that last run, honestly. Like, I, I mean, I'm over it, but at the same time, it's like, man, you shouldn't be losing that quickly. Like, losing 15 minutes into a run is... That's like some Bush League, Vanilla Isaac, like, first month stuff.
We've taken the chili pepper before. I don't remember what it was. Bird's eye, it burns. So I don't know what this actually does, but I figured, you know, it's new, so let's take that over, uh, over the relic, even though the relic is really good, obviously. Please. Uh, I'm hopeful that maybe it, it's a status effect that gives, like, it lights- Oh, that's right! Okay, so, honestly, I, I don't know if we made the right decision, but we didn't make a terrible decision, at least. The fire item is, uh, is excellent, I think, when it actually works. Does it hurt us? No. Okay. Double key room. Always a little dicey, especially given the prevalence of, uh, full run rerolls, but let's, let's give it a shot. This one just rerolls pedestals. Which we don't need yet, but may in the future. We still got, like, again, not quite a, a coin flip at this point, but... You know, we got, like, roughly a one-third chance of getting a deal with the devil. And I think when you're talking about odds... At least, you know, if, if you're just doing back-of-the-napkin sort of stuff... It doesn't really matter if you're, uh... What, what's less important than your number being strictly 100% uh, true from an arithmetic standpoint is... You know, a conceptual... Analog for it, if that makes sense, you know? 39% Roughly a, uh, roughly a 1 in 3 chance You say 39%, I think the human mind is like, I don't really get it You say 1 in 3, I think they're like, okay And I, I'm, I think it's just You know, that's why I, Even if, in anything from like 45 to 55% Even 40 to 60% In my head, that's a coin flip it's not the correct way to think about things, but it is, I think, conceptually useful at the very least. Uh, I've gotten myself into quite a predicament here. We've taken a little bit of damage as well. Uh, amazing deals with the devil I'll take, but uh, short of that, we might be more interested in just, you know, anything that turns us into guppy, obviously. But, you know, we got two spirit hearts back, so... What do I know? Um... We're lucky enough to not really need... That's gonna hurt. We're lucky enough to not really need keys right now. As useful as they might be. We just need spirit hearts. And we really do need spirit hearts because we need them for the, the access to the mausoleum. We got the second knife piece. Our knife might do, like, actually more damage now as well. Oh my god. Because of the fact that it's, uh... Oh, tinted rock first. Because of the fact that it's, uh... BFF. Two extra. Beautiful. So that pays for mausoleum access. I think if we can... The, the ideal way to handle this... Throw the bomb. There we go. Over the rocks. And actually the fire should absolutely destroy these guys. If we can ever actually break their exterior. That was really good. Now if we can just land a fire shot on the exposed areas... It's getting a little ridiculous. See, now get him to come through that. Pretty much, it destroyed like two sections of his life. I didn't realize until just now, these guys get faster as the... As they get destroyed as well. That should do it. Beautiful. That was a lot of fun, actually. Um, we did get a deal with the devil, so we'll peep that. We have red hearts, obviously. I think you go for the reroll in the hopes of getting that guppy dream, though. And we, we have two. I think we have two. We must have two red hearts. So we're guppy now. Even though it didn't tell us. We're guppy. We know. Give two spirit hearts here. What? God damn you, curse of the unknown. Um, so I guess... We must have been low on spirit... Like, lower than I expected. All is not lost. We have one red heart right now. This is... First off, this is a fucking bummer. I thought our HP was so much better than this. I didn't get... I got hit by one bomb. It must have been a, an error in the way that I took the deal with the devil. Maybe we only had one HP when we took the... It re, I mean, I know it reduced us to one, but I'm, I'm just trying to, like, run the, the numbers in my head. Like, what did I do wrong here? Battery charge? I don't think it's worth fucking with our donation machine. I still really like this run, but I'm getting this deja vu feeling in my head, like, oh, what is it this time? What I mean to say is, was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? How could I have ever been so blind? I was looking at a room that looks sort of like a piece of meat from the Monster Hunter franchise. 
All right. I mean, basically now it's time to buckle the fuck up. Thank God for nine lives, but nine lives does not guarantee you a win, as we've seen uh, on myriad occasion. We're going to head down. Per no curse of the unknown, please. I mean, I, I could do the math. I figured we had this is the amount of HP that we had, but... Um, okay. Right, we don't take one full heart of damage. That's actually, like, very nice. Maybe a little bit of a rash usage of, uh... A rash usage... <laughs> a rash usage? A rash usage of the full health pill, but it did save us that room. Exploded firecracker. That sounds very dangerous. I'm assuming that that maybe is bombs explode faster. Which is not what I want right now. It's gonna be tight. And it's it's gonna be tight in particular because uh, I take a lot of damage down here. We would really benefit from like a holy mantle pickup. I know. I can't... We can fly. Hey, dude, you can fly. In my defense, we only recently got that, but still. We'll go back for that other penny once we're back up there. Um, big deal here. Take out the dude who shoots uh, homing shots first. Would be nice, please. Thank you. And then these enemies that teleport you. I don't remember if they deal damage when they hit, so... It's not that big of a deal. Of course I'm looking for half red hearts, or, you know, full spirit heart would also be lovely. Um, go through with the boss fight here, we got a 16% devil chance. As is. We're in pretty tight here. How are you not dead? Like, my shots just die before they get to you? Your range, our range is that bad? An eternal heart. Eternal heart? Lovely item. Let's just see what we got here, it's the heretic. We will probably not make it through this fight without getting hit. We're gonna need to tank up a little. Yeah, that's fine. That fine, understandable even. Um, we got seven lives left. Let's go look for our. Uh, we got access to any room that we want to have access to right now. I actually feel surprisingly optimistic about things now, even with the greed fight. That doesn't matter that much. So what are we looking for? Honestly, Holy Mantle wins us the game. It oftentimes does. Uh, it doesn't win us the game so much on a you know a super late game boss fight, but it doesn't hurt. You can fly. There's, there's a lot of, like, fairly obvious avenues to victory. That might seem like we're in a bad place right now, and we could lose. Like, you know, if, if it's a winning run, but it looks like it could go wrong, I always say, like, you know, the loss exists here. This right now is a losing run that I think has a lot of ways to go right. So, you know, I, I think it's probably more, more fair to say a win exists here somewhere. And I think we can find it as well. Um... Keep in mind, we do have the, the other goal of making sure that we go through uh, the alternate paths. I mean, we're already there. We just need to pick up the third knife piece. If we pick that up, we have completed our goal. Well, we have to take Play-Doh. Oh, no, we could re-roll. I don't remember what Play-Doh does. Multicolored tears. Is it just like a, an 18th version of the fruitcake? Oh, hello. I don't want to get too close to you. But I'm gonna. Oh my god! I forgot completely that we have Nod Leaf, by the way. <laughs> we should probably take advantage of that at some point. Nod Leaf, you know, that, that I mean, ain't no joke when you got BFF Sack Dagger working alongside of it. It'd be nice, I guess, very fitting at least, to get revenge. Wow, good good shot. Can't deny that. Good shot. It'd be fitting to get revenge, like, you know, we took damage. Or we, we lost a run as this character in the dumbest of ways. To win in the dumbest of ways would be quite continental. Um, we are, at present, uh, looking for a second special room. I don't think I've seen two item rooms ever. But two shops certainly is a is a permutation that exists. Could be two boss trap rooms, that's also fine. Two mob trap rooms, like that's fairly okay. That probably should have killed us. 
You never know, like, some of these uh, mausoleum rooms have, have items on them to begin with. Just weirdly kind of, like, interspersed. I'm not sure about this one. Just keep playing relatively conservatively. I think it's going to be tougher to stop us than it presently appears. I don't think we want increased stats right now, thank you very much. Every room here is big. I mean, I guess we are on a Curse of the Giant. Getting a little ridiculous, though. Surprisingly, we could use range as well. Not a common requirement at this point in the game. These guys have got to go. Trying to... Okay. Trying to suss out multicolored tiers. Um... Okay, we don't need anything else here. Trying to suss out multicolored tiers, see how I feel about it in the in the tier, you know, power rankings. Right now I feel like it's sort of inconsequential. Could be naive. Great shot. Like honestly, I thought you had me on that one. Enemies that bomb have to go first. These guys are also like just so fast. Enemies that bomb have to get taken out first. Okay, full... <laughs> the people who can attack us across a full wave, also, like, worth killing. Or a full a full axis, I should say. Also worth killing. Um, surely there has to... Right, that was dumb. Surely there has to be a second special room up here. Like, that's the only reason I'm still doing these rooms, is because it's the only thing that makes sense. It does not make sense for there to not be another special room up here. Even if it's a mob trap room, like, I'll at least look into it. You know, one red chest could help us out a great deal right now. We gotta find some way to beat the, uh, the heretic. On one HP. And, or, or, you know, one way would be getting more HP. But, um, a, a conceivable way to do that might be standing still, but... If we don't have to, I might rather avoid that course of action. Finally killed all the spawners in there. There's no special... There's no second special room over here. I'm losing my mind. You might be starting to sweat the lives. My advice for you is, you know, don't sweat life you never get out alive. To quote the immaculate film Van Wilder. Um, your lives matter. Each individual life doesn't matter that much. At least when you got nine of them. Um... We're, I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat it. We're in a pretty dire situation right now. Certainly we can't afford, or we can't uh, afford to lose three lives per floor. That's gonna come back to bite us in the ass in a big way. But I think if we are just extremely patient. First off, this is also a much better uh, permutation of items to have to fight the, um, the witness. Sack Dagger, in and of itself, is gonna be, like, exquisite. So I'm assuming, like, he's like, hey, my pretties, go do what you gotta do. And they walk over to me and they all get destroyed. And then, all we need is this guy to stand on top of us for, like, you know, a few ticks of damage. Probably enough to get the job done. There we go. Yeah, right there is the spot where I would like you to stand, if possible. Your brimstone alarms me not. Wow, incredible. How does he do it? Any chance you're gonna work your way over here? That's what I like to see. Stay, stay still. It's okay, he's gonna charge us. Okay, so he's dead. Experimental treatment not worth taking. Coat hanger! Dude, we've been waiting the whole fucking run for a tears upgrade, so yes please. We also get to 2 HP. So we head down to the next floor. Now this life is a little more important. An arcade is interesting. Curse of the Unknown is just like... It's, it's a pretty large fuck you, honestly. So I think... I'm saying I think a lot, that's because I, I haven't had enough success to really iron out best practices in, in Anti-Birth so far in case that's not like abundantly clear. So, I, I think the best course of action for us, uh, I, I am stuck moving to the left right now. Alright, um, that's gonna make things a little 
That's not because of you guys, is it? Like... Oh, okay. Keyboard's now working properly. Scary moment there. Couldn't have happened on a better room, honestly. Like... It's about as good as it gets there. Gotta be much more aggressive on this room, I think. Beautiful. No tinted rocks. We can start to blow up skulls. I think we got the bombs necessary. Oh, come on. You're gonna give me... We should have re-rolled it, for sure. But you're gonna give me two greed fights in a row? Like, near the end of the game? I know, I know. We're not supposed to go to this room yet. I'm still using teleporters more often than I should. When we can fly, at least. There's our knife piece. So that's what we're here for. I like the idea of the alternate paths being useful um, in Antsy Birth because you can, like, even if, it's kind of like an angel situation. Even if you don't want to fight Mega Satan, or in this case, even if you don't want to do the alternate paths, you can reroll the key pieces, perhaps, or the knife pieces, sorry, um, and you get those valuable item rooms. Like, I think they've done a pretty good job of balancing the alternate paths, at least, you know, my, my first guess is that they've done a pretty good job of balancing these uh, alternate paths, so that they're more, um... There, there's a good reason to go to them beyond just pride. Which I think is smart. In terms of design. I really feel like that's one of the... If there are major flaws in the Isaac model right now, the fact that angel rooms are just garbage is one of them. Dude, I love the soul, but you gotta go chocolate milk. It's just a more fun item. Uh, most of the time. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm saying it, dude. Secret room, please. Okay, that's fine. We need to find a teleporter to the other side, and I think it's right here. Right, yeah, just walk on the rock. That's is a really good idea to walk on that rock twice. Could have just blown it up. You got 21 bombs, but, you know, who cares, right? Uh, Really lowered our deal with the devil chance. I care. That's the joke there. I care. Okay, let's start to accrue some spirit hearts, ideally. Every spirit heart is extremely important. Each one individually is unlikely to make the difference between life and death, but in aggregate, there's an enormous amount of responsibility on those spirit hearts. Uh, I, I think at this point, We've already taken red heart damage, fucked up our deal with the devil chance. We say, sure, let's go to the deal with the devil. Or, let's go to the, the curse room. And, <laughs> Blood Oath at least is a good reroll opportunity. Although, it's tempting. I'll admit. I'll take Guppy's tail, that's fine. I know we're already Guppy. I'm gonna take it regardless, because I don't want to bounce in and out of that room over and over. Blood Oath is like... Glass cannon balanced properly, and also a passive item. Like... I love the I, I I love when you can take it, but we cannot take it here. This one that was not what I meant to do. This one's just too dicey. And we got two spirit hearts out of that room as well, so we are gonna go. I don't, I don't give a shit about the arcade in this situation because, like, are you kidding me? The arcade is a is a potential nightmare here, with the amount of HP that we uh, may or may not have. What we're going to do is go to this curse room, and it's gonna cost us. Half a spirit heart, and that's fine. But remember, life moves pretty fast once you get past this. You fight mom and mom's heart immediately to truncate part of the game. Uh, and then you got the corpse, and then you're good to go, basically. Not even a donation machine. Alright. Well, uh, what do you do? I think you can rely on mom hitting you. We... No, 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 it's not. I was, I was like, we can go play this blood bank and then see if we can get mom or uh, access to the boss trap room. Blah blah blah. Sure, I mean that's theoretically not a bad play, but with Curse of the Unknown, just slightly scared. So we get it to Gaz Rune, which actually takes away Curse of the Unknown. We get Ghost Baby. We're not going to get a reroll on this floor, so that's fine. Now, okay, you know, because I've been playing badly, and people will crucify me if I don't make the optimal play here. We're going to come down. And we're going to try to leverage ourselves a little bit more. Go into the arcade. We can get zapped by that thing, so I'm a little scared, but... Okay, that's all I want to do. Eh, we might as well go to a half heart, because we're going to take... We're going to take the, uh... The 
Polaroid. Oh, we got freaking Zap, dude. Oh, that's that's enough. That's all we need. Okay, even better. Overcharge it. Why not? That's, uh, I was gonna say, we've had that pill 30 times and it sucks. So we're playing better when the chips are down. Wasn't worth it to go in there in the end, probably. Um, I think we just go stand still against Mom. Like, get in the middle of that fight and stand still. Oh, come on. I was like, I, I think we'll be safe here. Classic mistake. Is this a little cheesy? Sure. But, you know, I, I think I gotta do it. I really am just waiting for Mom to do the attack where she stomps us three times in a row. That might just be a champion attack, but either way. I do not see a Tinted Rock. It wouldn't be the first time I missed one, but... Alright. Last mistake of your life. Mom's heart we have to fight. We gotta do that the old-fashioned way, so... Uh. Am I am I missing something here? There we go. Well, we don't have to fight the old-fashioned way, but... I'm, I'm gonna try not to. Genius! Okay, it worked. Deal with the double chance of 28 right here. So I would say... Probably not great, but... That's okay. Will we be able to beat the witness like this? I honestly don't see a good reason why we wouldn't be able to. Um, but you never know. When you, when you get down to that fight. Sometimes they just get lock in, locked into patterns. And by they, I just mean bosses in general. They get locked into patterns that are untenable. Uh, for a situation like this, you got to reposition or something. Well, I guess no deal. Maybe you can never get a deal there. I'm not sure. Alright, down to the course. And honestly, feeling a lot better about things. All we need to do to have at least a shot... Wow. Is, uh, is get to the boss fight. Provided we get to the boss fight, we will uh, we will at least have our name in the hat. Keep in mind we got items coming before the boss fight as well. So I think we're we're very near to potential success. That's a holy mantle tier, which is really good. I thought that was a tinted rock, actually. So a holy mantle tier is just lovely, extremely good defensively. I'm thinking that this is the path. If I wasn't feeling confident before, I'm, I'm feeling a lot more confident now. It's kind of a cheesy way to win. But, honestly, after some pretty embarrassing losses, I don't mind a cheesy win. Apparently, there's only two kinds of uh, anti-birth runs right now. There's runs that are, you know, upwards of 45 minutes, and then there's runs that are under 20. So... I think the more the more upward of 45 minute runs we have, the, the better our life is. Thank God that only took off a half heart. This is not our boss fight. I mean, a Holy Mantle heart is sort of like a one-time use Holy Mantle, so... I had a feeling that was not going to be it. We really are at... We can kind of exploit it, actually. To use uh, Sack Dagger as much as possible. Like Sack Dagger Invincibility. We just have to not accidentally walk into a champion. Which would obviously be totally screwed. And we may not want to go to the Curse Room as well. Because it doesn't work necessarily the way you'd anticipate. But if we get another Spirit Heart instead. Sure. Then I think. Oh. I don't think we take it. I don't think we take it. That's beautiful. We want both of those. Even though we have a, a charge, even though with spun doesn't exist, these are the two syringes you want. So that's awesome. A plus 1.59 damage bonus is huge. It's a really lucky second secret room. So I don't want the rotten heart just in case it uh, it cannibalizes permanent Polaroid invincibility for the time being. It's the same reason I'm like not taking any red hearts. Pretty fundamental Isaacism. You guys, you, you gotta go. You gotta die. I'm sorry. Like the eternal or the uh, the holy mantle heart is too valuable. It's it's my ticket to greatness right now. Devil card doesn't hurt either. But the holy mantle heart is is the money maker. 
Ah, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, plenty of opportunities for the, uh, for the boss to be in a different direction. But I think this is fairly reasonable. Don't take that heart. Judgment? Demon judgment. Just blow him up. I, if we got more red hearts, we could, we could make good use of that. But I think it's more, uh, more acute play than a, than a good play. And remember, it's not like we can get spun, so... Also not our boss fight. Gotta check and see if this is a tinted rock. It was. Looking for, I don't know, luck upgrades? Doesn't really matter. Now don't forget, the next room is, is what would the hell it hooked onto me. The next room is basically the chest. Or the next item room is basically the chest. So don't be afraid to use your, your reroll there. It's really your last opportunity in which to do s That was not smart. To do so. Okay. Slow your roll a little bit here. There is another Tinted Rock. They've been very generous with those so far. We, we finally got Small Rock after all that. I'm gonna fight the Chimera. Remember, he could do one full heart. So be very wary about getting in there for the... Uh, for the Sack Dagger damage, but... Our damn okay, we got invincibility. Get in there now. We have to open these first. And these are more deserving of a reroll. We're not taking soy milk, chocolate milk. This is a terrible combination. By the way, th like this is bad. Now, would we rather have permanent Polaroid invincibility or would we rather have an extra eternal or extra red heart? I think we'd rather have Permanent Polaroid Invincibility, which means we're not going to take any of this. We're going to reroll all of it in the hopes of getting better stuff. And uh, Tears plus Shot Speed is valuable. We'll take the extra speed. We'll take Magic 8-Ball because we don't have a reroll. And see what we get. It's Hanged Man. Not very good. We don't want less than three, I think, but it is kind of close. Booster Pack. This is a two of Diamonds, which is worthless. Hermit, which is worthless. And Hermit, which is worthless. Mm, do we want four HP or a little bit of extra Permanent Polaroid Invincibility? I think we, now that I, like, rethink it, oh, 3 HP, sorry. 3 HP seems more advisable to me in the moment. Pop the Devil card for sure, and honestly, start by getting in there right away. Number one mistake I make with uh, Nod Leaf is being like, well, we can afford to fight until we get into a bad spot. What we should do is do as much easy damage as possible, you know, while the sun's up, and then when times get tough, then we can actually start using our uh, our existing HP conveniently. So this one's looking like it's going to come through as a win. Hopefully makes up for some of the Schadenfreude we've had recently. Uh, you know, maybe 60% of the way done here. We're going to have to move, and this is what's nice about repositioning yourself when the HP is, you know, still there. It's not like a life or death situation. It's not catching him as much as I'd like, but it is catching him at no cost to ourselves right now, so. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Alright, first phase done. Now, I'm... Good, good, good. Just stand still during the attacks, at least. You don't have to do all your damage with Sack Dagger. It actually seems like... The fire. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. The fire is our huge damage dealer. So, shoot more often. Okay, that was a little ridiculous. Shoot more often to try to make the fire happen as much as possible. We're going to get the win here. He is dead. Good! Well, we got that done as Isaac probably unlocked a new item, I'm assuming. Meat Cleaver has appeared in the basement. For now, thanks for watching. Finally a win. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.